All right, let's see if we can get any more conversations out of this. Static. Oh, the intercom crackles and you hear a conversation. Oh, my lover. How do you manage to do it so many times? Sure, a man's got to do what a man's got to do. And what he's got to do is you, darling. Oh, and you <laughs> do it so well. Let us try and keep your voice down, so my dears. Oh, I do not care, my amour. Life, she is something we only enjoy once. Sure, I'm fiffing Begora. I, I do I do this at least 50 times a day to stay in shape. Um. 50 times? Oh, la la. And what do you call this movement? It's sit up plus. I also do 50 push-ups each day. Then I run a few miles. Oh. Hmm. Oh. No, static. Steady. <laughs> you attach the intercom <laughs> unit and completely missing the buttons at all point, apparently. Ah. <laughs> uh. So none of the other buttons work. I don't think we can do this yet because we no need... we, we don't have any combination oh wait no wait wait hang on phone list that's what i'm looking for oh let's look at the phone list okay judging by the handwriting the phone numbers were written by the same person who made the note on the calendar desk we'll, we'll read it then ah uh, t dargan roberta williams i did it be safe <laughs> You hosa, not yet an Ernie Leach. Um, <laughs> it was be safe, which is what we're after, so 0527. Oh, clever. Zero. Five. Two. Seven. Aha. And Laura's head is actually behind the painting. So she's on none of that. <laughs> I see nothing. Ooh. Mm, glancing through the diary and the male oh. handwriting within, it refers to Sterling's growing fear that the Countess only married him for his money and she could be planning to kill him. The final entry reads, You've had fears her too. It's the personal diary of Pormog Museum Sterling Walt. It's the water closet guy, basically. Not mm -hmm. wanting to remove evidence from the crime scene, particularly when you must have broken some sort of law by opening the president's personal wall safe. You decide not to remove that. However, that really doesn't actually, you know, do anything for you. Because, uh. That just kind of tells you that other shit's going down. Yeah, but maybe we can use this information later. Maybe. It, it certainly proves Yvette as a gigantic hoe bag. Mm -hmm. Now, we are in the realms of a certain time, and I'm still talking like the narrator, but so... <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> so, we're, we're just going to pop into here and uh, hide behind this and see if if the countess just shows up. Oh, I think she will. Oh, yes. It's 1 a.m.? Yes, it's 1 a.m. And here comes the countess by herself. Ah. That bitch. Even though both the men that she's going to meet with. So she's apparently waiting for someone. Well, well, good evening, countess. What? What are you doing here? I just happen to be hiding behind the tapestry. You're lying. Uh, I mean, you're. Uh, fuck. Whatever. <laughs> How could you tell? Nobody just happens to be hiding. But oh god damn it! I can't do the voice anymore. Duh, Ray Should I do it? <laughs> Ray Asperger's. There it is. Ah. <laughs> and nobody just happens to be walking inside a museum late at night with paintings under their arms. Paintings? Oh, you mean these paintings? Ah. I... I just found them lying on the floor, and I picked them up so no one would step on them. I don't mm -hmm. think so. You don't think so? Oh, I can't do the voice anymore. 
Raspberries, are you accusing me of something, you silly girl? Darling. What do you think? I think you're a rude girl who needs to learn some manners. Enough going around accusing people of stealing paintings. I, I didn't say anything about you stealing them. Well, of course you did. Don't try and trick me, girl. I've got more tricks than you have brain cells. I'm sure you do. One thing I have to ask myself is, why did you bring those paintings to a meeting with Dr. Carrington at this time of night? How did... How did you know I was meeting Dr. Carrington? I found a note beside his body. His... His body? You talk about him like he's dead. Well, yeah, he is. Dead as a doorknob. Didn't you know about it? Actually, I haven't told anyone about that, have I? You're trying to trick me again. Dr. Carrington is alive and well and working in his office. Well, you're right about him being in his office, but he's quite dead, I assure you. Oh my god! You seem to be a logical murder suspect. Wait a second, you're not trying to pin this on me! I didn't have anything to do with it. Why would I want to kill him? We've got a perfectly good art burglary scheme going. Art burglary? Oh, shit. <laughs> well, if you're trying to convince me that you're not the murderer, you're not doing a very good job of it. Why do I care what you think anyway? You're not a cop, pig. But I am a reporter and I could write about you in the newspaper. Of course, your reputation would be ruined and the police would be very interested in you. But you're tough. I'm sure you could handle it. Like you handled that lady in the speakeasy. Look, I just worked out a little deal with Dr. Carrington. An art forger duplicates the paintings on the wall of the gallery. We hang them up in place of the real ones, which we sell to private collectors. Didn't you think someone would catch on after a while? Like me, who touched the paintings? Are you kidding? That's the beauty of the plan. When we replaced all the paintings, we were going to slash them and make them look like someone vandalized the real paintings. No one ever thinks that someone go to the trouble of forging paintings just to destroy them. And Carrington is here to say no one gets too noisy. You mean he was here? I swear, I didn't have anything to do with his death. He was just my cash cow. I brought him over from Europe for just this very reason. Now that's it! I'm not saying anything more about it! Mm, okay... Hmm. Please, my dear. We must <laughs> keep our hands to ourselves, shall we? Decorum, my dear. Decorum is the order of the day. So, so now that you know that they're dead, are you just going to keep standing here with your blue shoes and your purple jacket? You're not looking very well, Countess. There's a murderer running loose in the museum. I do happen to feel a little spooked when someone leaps out from me behind the exhibits. Um, can I ask you about Carrington? I do not feel like talking about this now. I'm Aww. going. Oh. I gotta take this painting back. <laughs> Countess! Countess! Yoo-hoo! So there's three people. I ball. You ball me. Uh, I don't think there's anything new I can... Uh, maybe line decker? Oop, oop. No. Well, I suppose technically what she's doing is a burglary. No. Countess! Have I asked you about Ernie Leach before? Well, I do wish they wouldn't let the handyman in at social functions. He's not even dressed properly. He, he wasn't at the function, though. My, 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 what an intense gentleman he is. Why, he's practically obsessed with the dagger. Well, so are a lot of people. Tell me about yourself. Mm, I'm bored. Go away. I don't want to... Oh. Have I asked you about the carbon paper? Oh yeah, I did. You said you don't, you don't like to bother <laughs> yeah, she, with such things. She doesn't care about that. Oh, does she can't care about my charcoal? Yeah, n no, she she does not. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. All right, so I think it's time that we have a little look around downstairs, don't you think? Oh uh, yes. Let's see what's downstairs. First, let me save just in case I uh topple us off. We mm -hmm. don't want to. We don't want to lose all that uh, beautiful work. Good work, Laura. There we go. Ding, 
ding, ding. What's behind here, Laura? The glass covering the alcove is marked with the words, For emergency use only. Okay. Well, let's, um, this is clearly an emergency because there's a murderer, like, running around. There we go. Pick it up and put it in your purse. Now, we're just going to have a quick peek in here because, as you can see, Ooh. this is a danger. Actually, let's save again so we can have a little play with the danger. I wonder who owns this room. But this one's one of my favorites. Oh! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Take another stab at it. Oh. Then, of course, we've got this one with the cheese. Oh my god. Oh, Laura. Oh, Wolfie, what? Why? Why would you do any of this? Uh, yeah, shiny metals and such. Can I trigger this? I think I can trigger this with the bone. Yep, and then... Nice, we tricked it. I can take the cheese. You pick it up and put nice. it in your purse. Have a sit down. You don't have time to sit down, Laura. Well, the intercom crackles and you oh. hear... Wolfie, it's Olympia. If you can hear me, meet me in the armor room at two o'clock. You promised to show me your private scars, remember? See you there, Wolfie Cakes. Aww. Um, it's past one, so I'm just going to see if we can actually... Uh... What about the other room down yeah, there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm just, I'm just curious if we can actually trigger. Oh. Because I, I don't think that scene's actually built in. But you know, let's. I'm just, you know, it's worthwhile just having a quick little uh, peek, as, as they would say. Peek and chic. We're in the armor room. Let's hide and let's see if anything's. No, they're not going to come out. Because it would have triggered by then. Hmm. Maybe we're too early? Yeah, but I, I'm pretty... I, like, I'm very certain that that scene's not actually built in. I just, Aww. There is a lot of, you know, um, uh, stuff that they cut out. Like, the, you know, the at the, the actual banquet itself, people were a lot more animated, so a lot of animations were scrapped, and there's also a whole heap of other, like, you know, cutscenes and such that were scrapped. Like, there's some conversation between the Countess and Ramsey and Gia... And there's also, like, um, uh, Laura actually questioning Ramses, except you, you never find Ramses in the game, so, after the party, mm -hmm. so you can't ask him any of those questions. Which is the same. Which is a shame. Okay, so we've got some, uh, interesting things happening around here. Bat 5. A huge, hairy creature with at least one huge claw is flirting around in the murky liquid of vat. Bat 4, there's a bulky creature with a huge head. Bat 2, you can see a turtle. Mm -hmm. Bat 5, oh, sorry, Bat 8, is a thick body with two long bird-like legs and a long neck ending in a small head floats in the vat. Is that a unicorn floating in the murky liquid? Can't be. Unicorns are mythical creatures. Bat 14, there is a vaguely humanoid shape floating in the murky liquid. After staring through the glass for a while, you see what happens to be a white hair, or perhaps it's a large jellyfish, or it could be King Graham. I'm just, I'm just saying. Mm. Could be anything. This container is full of oily liquid, so I'm going to put it into my lantern because that seems an obvious thing to do. Girl, don't, girl. I think you need something in your lantern, or do you just have enough power in it anyway? Oh, you do. For some reason, I seem to think that you didn't. Oh, which means that we can actually go into Olympia's, uh, thing. That was a hand crank, is it? Thing. You know, like, the um, there was that thing that we couldn't, uh, get past. You know, like, because we, the, the mask thing, the head thing, that we pulled the horn mm -hmm. and went through the thing, but it was too dark. So we can do that Right. Now. But we're just going to have a quick little... Oh. The intercom crackles and you hear... Annie, it's Olympia. The valve on number 13 seems to be jammed. Take a look at it when you have a chance. No 
Don't touch it. You don't know where it's been. But it looks like there's something on the floor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this is Ernie's room. What the heck? Oh! It's a stick that's good for dealing with snakes. I picked it up and somehow put it in my purse, considering how big it is. Oh, pliers! Pick it up and put it in my purse. Anything else while we're here? What's this? I touched something. Oh, something else has happened in another room. I'm just seeing if there's anything in... Oh, alcohol vat book. One koala bears, two turtles, snakes, hippos, ground sloth, skunks, Loch Ness monster, ostrich, lemmings, unicorn, creatures from the Black Lagoon, rats, warthogs, and ah, oh, it's King Edward of Javan Tree, not Graham. <laughs> do do do. Don't need a broom. Oh, hey Ernie. Um, I didn't take nothing. Uh, I think this was you. Oh yeah, the uh, the the connection is really bad right now. I can't oh. see anything. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mr. Leech. You said something, but he, he, you can't be seen. So, uh, well, let's just forget you said anything. Uh, I thought this was a <laughs> storage room. I'll leave now. Bye. This is this is a private office. Please get out of here. There oh, we go. There you go. He's he's got a delayed reaction. Um, so we're gonna save here and we're gonna cut the episode and we'll be back next time with more Laura Bow. <laughs> Laura Bow.